Do we need to go find another wrench? Is that I'd be better off finding a tool? Yep. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome back to The Call of Cthulhu. Now with a lot of games, uh, I can usually start to tell when we're getting close to the end. And we're what, seven episodes into this? Nearly an hour long each and I honestly can't say where the hell we are in the storyline. But um, it, it, it keeps me coming back, it does. But I kind of want to see how it ends at this point. So let's uh, let's just go. Let's just keep going. Okay, so are we doing the, the door thing again? Yeah, um, I, I looked it up during the loading screen. I think there's 14 chapters in the game now. We've already seen this. Um, so we're on chapter 9. Which means we have like, what, 5 Golden. chapters left? <sighs> Including this one? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is exactly where we left off. Perfect. Is there anything that I need to investigate in here? Or are we just going back out into the, the delusional hallway of doom? That wasn't the smoothest transition I've ever seen, but that's okay. Um... What's going on? Hello? Spoopy paintings? Maybe not a painting? Just a bunch of stuff on the wall? I don't know. Oh look, that's us again. <laughs> Alright. Don't open the door, man. We're gonna open the door, but I'm just... Don't open the door, please. Some, some, some bad's gonna be. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah. <laughs> kind of inconsequential since our protagonist didn't see it. Oh. At least their suffering is over, right? Unless that's them singing. That worries me a bit. <laughs> what in God's name? Is it gonna be her? Yeah. Yep. I'm really bad at names, so sorry about that. What did they do to you? A nutcracker? Am I completely forgetting something that we like picked up along the way? Find that either some burnt clothes, a trail, or like maybe another section of the house that's burnt from him? Yeah, how is he involved in this scene? Seriously, I don't remember that at all. What? He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no, no. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's... is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Mm. 
I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. Lord Cthulhu? All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Oh, goodness. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. And let's go before your husband finds us. Man, these these conversations... Like, I it get... It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Like, I, I get that she's supposed to be ex the extremely the guards. mentally disturbed. Me. But even so, the conversations feel extremely disjointed. What the? Oh, no. This way. What? Um, all right. Come out of your hiding hole. Okay. Girl, girl. Please, time to go. Let's 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 keep moving. We're just we're just doing a straight up chase sequence right now. What? Why? Okay. Pfft. Well done, I guess. I didn't do that. Wait. The machine. It's the green, the decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Yeah, like every time they talk to one another, it it feels like two people reading lines in two completely different set uh like rooms or something. There's there's not a good flow to the dialogue in it. Do we need to go find another wrench? Is that I'd be better off finding a tool. Yep. <laughs> Uh, poker? Hey, that's- that's what I said to use in the last episode! What the fuck? What? Alright. That should do it. Oh. Let's move. Is that shit flammable? We have open flames here. Seems bad. Hey, hubby, what's up? I'm your puppet no more! You bastard! I, mm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm just gonna my say wife, it. My wife, you owe me obedience. I really don't know what's going on. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Oh damn it! It is flammable. I call that shit too. Going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. I do really like his character model though. We have a poker, and you didn't stab him with it? And he didn't throw us into the fire. That's okay. Am I, am I in control here? No. Why don't you just do it, man? Oh, no. She's 
Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwood, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of it, members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. That's what I was wondering that we didn't do when the whole fight started, but, you know, thanks for the exposition. It's a good look for you, man. Oh, the music's swelling back up, so we know he's gonna survive. Ready? Hmm. Um, I'm gonna be real, real honest with everybody right now. I got no fucking clue what's going on. I'm just, I'm lost completely. Like we, I, I don't even know if we're in the real world right now is a thing because all of that was led up to by this crazy ass dream sequence. And the last time that happened to us, we watched Bar Brady die. But then, like, five minutes later, he was fine. So, now that we've gone through this other hallucinogenic trip experience, spirit quest, the fact that we found Sarah feels, uh, contrived, almost? Like, it didn't really happen, and it shouldn't have? But then, the fact that Charles then just shows up, tries to kill us, but instead we just have a conversation with his tentacles around our neck, and then we kill him? I don't know, man. That, that whole thing just felt so out of place. Like, the dialogue didn't flow well. I don't understand how this is going to tie into the story. I, I, I'm keeping in reservation the idea that maybe this is one of those storylines where it all makes sense in retrospect, but I don't know. That, that whole situation just felt like a, a bunch of unrelated non-sequitters that... Huh... I don't know, maybe this has something for us. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of... Colden's dead? Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins. Alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last uh, confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife was revealed that the man under his monstrous presence tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the occult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Why don't we just fucking kill her? 
Okay. No parent should have to bury their child. Well, maybe he's no, not it's dead. Me that put no, him there. Nobody in this game that we've thought's been dead is dead. Everybody's still alive. The guilt. The guilt. Fuck, I'll I bet Dr. Colden's still alive somewhere. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Why were there things I never like have distortions been. around here there for a second? Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> You are mine! Kid was just <laughs> We just saw it getting burnt Simon. and now it's still full of paint. It's over now. I'm, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. <laughs> Gasping like Yep, there we go. Ooh, do I need to level up? I feel like I haven't leveled up in a while. Uh, nope. I need, nope. Uh, Piers. How many? I have 11. Okay. Um, I can't level these up. Because... Like, how was I supposed to have full occultism by then? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, oh, that's that's why my eloquence isn't doing very well. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Four, six, or whatever. That works. Nope. Still got to confirm. Yes, back. Okay. I'm completely lost. I, I truly have no idea what's going on anymore. Because... Okay, Algernon, cool. Mm, Barb Brady's not here. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Uh, mm, Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. What? Where'd, where'd you go? There you are. Okay. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper, cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong, so ancient, enticing, dangerous. Adjectives. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. 
The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. The no. Wanderer? No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This <laughs> isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Okay, where'd he go? He said he was in the office. Where's the office? I just... I'm so... beyond confused right now. Where's the office? Office? Oh, this doesn't seem like the office. Oh, what's up, Barb Brady? How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you... She might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Like, what is, what is this option? Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. I'm just going to keep Sooner picking it, because I, I don't know what it is or what, what it does. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Okay. Hmm. My, my brain's just all kinds of jumbled from, from what we've seen so far. We're 25 minutes into this episode and I've been in control like twice, but... Man. What's up, dude? Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that, that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Hmm. 
Hmm. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. So when Sarah talked about the Wanderer, Earlier, was she referring to the Shambler? This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture, in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. Convenient. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Uh, sketch of a bust? Okay, um, so... What, what I really don't understand at this point is that... We've seen Charles several times now as, like, part of a leader of the cult. And it seems that, you know, he's kind of, uh, in charge a bit of what's going on in the things that's happening under the house. But at the same time, Sarah, who's got this connection to these otherworldly creatures is kind of a key. So his motivations are really unclear as to the fact that not only is he seemingly in charge of what's going on down there, but he's married to the key. So... Why is he doing anything to try and protect her when he could be using her to bring whatever cultish things that he wants to bring over? I, I really feel like I'm missing something. And also the fact that he didn't kill us when he had the chance. I, I hate that in any medium. Uh, whether that's... Yeah, there it is. Oh, joy. Well, I just saw that one. Um, whether that's movies, video games, anything like that, the 
antagonist has a, an opportunity to kill the protagonist, but they just kind of stand there talking for a while. Convenient. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Okay, so now we saw the future, I think. I have a feeling. I'm gonna, like, after after I'm done with this episode, I I might just go back and re-watch all of the episodes so far in order to start to finish and, like, take notes on it or something because I'm, I'm so <laughs> lost. And uh, I feel that, like, that's, that's not making for very good commentary over what the fuck's going on, but I don't know. There's just a lot of things that don't make sense to me right now. Ah, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, no. do that. Oh, okay. <sighs> all right. And what's the point of all of this, too? Six, zero, six. I just wish I could level this up directly. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, hi, you moved. What's up? I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Hmm. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know... Us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will. Um... What? What? Okay, 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 okay. Um, hmm. I, I am so far beyond lost and confused right now. I know I've been saying that this entire episode, but I, I don't want to go any further until I, I have a better grasp of what the fuck is going on. Um, there's been a lot that's happened in, in the last 30 minutes. We've come out of our hallucination we found sarah we killed charles we made it back to the mansion we've been talking about occult objects in in some way to like save something stop something from happening and then we just got arrested by two guys um riverside is the is the mental hospital and we just got arrested for it being burned down, which I'm assuming is what happened 
after we had that confrontation with Charles Hawkins, but yeah, yeah, I, I have to leave this here and, um, watch back the entirety of the series so far. There are some disadvantages to just like playing one hour sections a day, um, over a couple days, especially for a video series. Cause I miss a lot. I do, but I am so confused as to like the context of a lot of it, why we're doing what we're doing, where we are in the story, who's playing what part, why we're doing this, who know, who knows what and how they know it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like we mentioned that Dr. Colden is dead, but the last I remember seeing her was the, uh, the time we were in her point of view and we got poked in the chest with the medicine. Was that body downstairs that we saw of her, of the like dismembered corpse? Was that supposed to be her? Or did I just completely forget that we saw her somewhere? I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like the, the game is missing scenes or something of, of important information that I've just either overlooked, weren't there, or am having a very, very hard time remembering. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to spend, oh fuck, that's going to be like six hours. Wow, that's a commitment. A long ass series so far. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and and watch all of them and and keep notes or something because I'm confused as fuck. Like really, really confused. So yeah, this has been the Call of Cthulhu. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Colefire, and I will see you next time.